exciting time with a blessing and Tamu on the psychologist ng tv how have you been it's been quite a while and i've missed you all so much i mean i was so choked up with work it was really hard for me to make these videos but i'm glad to be here again today and if this is your first time on the psychologist ng tv kindly quickly click on subscribe just below the video and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell sign to enable notification so you can be notified of all of our future videos they're usually very educative videos now we have been discussing the prenatal environment factors that affect prenatal development factors that affect development of the fetus in the womb and the last video we talked about um the restless factor restless incompatibility uh yeah so but today we are going to talk about another factor that affects prenatal development there are a number of factors actually ranging from the nutrition of the mother to her emotional state psycho emotional state uh on to the intake of drugs both psychoactive drugs and um, other prescription drugs and uh the number of children she's had the spacing of the children and all of that you know but today we are talking about the intake of a particular psychoactive drug which is alcohol and we're talking about fetal alcohol syndrome caused by the intake of alcohol while a woman is pregnant now so fetal alcohol syndrome is actually one of the disorders or diseases that occurs amongst a spectrum of disorders known as fetal alcohol spectrum disorders fetal alcohol spectrum disorders are disorders that can occur in a baby whose mother consumed alcohol while she was pregnant for that baby so there is a spectrum of these others one of them is fetal alcohol syndrome that we shall be discussing today another is partial fetal alcohol syndrome that is less severe than fetal alcohol syndrome then we have alcohol related birth defects we have um, alcohol related neurodevelopmental disorder and we have alcohol related neurobehavioral this other but our focus for today is fetal alcohol syndrome now fetal alcohol syndrome refers to a number of symptoms usually correlated and that occur together in a baby whose mother consumed alcohol while she was pregnant for this baby fetal alcohol syndrome now for a baby to be diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome there are three primary features or symptoms that must be present one is the presence of abnormal facial features the number of a plethora of abnormal facial features that occurs in a baby with fetal alcohol syndrome disorder and then there must be a presence of delayed growth slow growth rate okay and then there must be presence of central nervous system problems or uh, abnormalities so when you have these three conditions and uh, you can be uh, diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, now it's also important to note that uh, the damage the alcohol causes, causes to the fetus whilst developing in the womb, they are irreversible. So there's no cure for fetal alcohol syndrome. However, some of the symptoms associated with this uh, syndrome can be managed. We're going to talk about management of the symptoms later, but there's no cure and there's no reversal of the damage that alcohol causes to the fetus while it's growing in the womb no complete reversal but it's easily preventable a fetal alcohol syndrome is very easily preventable to avoid fetal alcohol syndrome do not take alcohol while while pregnant as a matter of fact do not take alcohol that's what i would i would recommend you know on a later date we'll speak about the effects of alcohol to the body but please whilst pregnant do not consume alcohol at all because you put your baby at a risk of suffering from one of the disorders in the fetal alcohol spectrum disorders okay do not take alcohol whilst you are pregnant i mean how many of you would know that doing a particular thing will harm your unborn baby and you go ahead to do it yeah so now you know that consuming alcohol while you're pregnant can cause a lot of harm irreversible harm to the developing fetus and a disease to the baby when the baby is born so let's not consume alcohol we'll move quickly to the symptoms of fetal alcohol syndrome like i said there are a whole lot of them and i would like to take my time with them okay so the first one we have are the abnormal facial facial features yeah so we have 
then this thing fill it through. So the space between the nose and the mouth here is completely smooth. But in normal people, you would find, you know, some distinction, but it's indistinct in uh, people with fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, they have uh, some folds in the sides of the eyes. Uh, they have a very thin upper lip. They have very thin upper lip, 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 and then um, the the cleft in the nose here is low lying. They have short nose and flat mid face region, and a whole lot of other abnormal facial features because of the alcohol the brother consumed while she was pregnant. And so we have other um, symptoms. We have the slow growth rates. So they will have um, abnormal height and weight, low birth weight and abnormal height. Okay, we have uh, learning disabilities, a range of learning disabilities are associated. They could have speech defects, they could have hearing defects, they could have problems with their sight, they could be hyperactive. So hyperactivity is one of the symptoms. Poor coordination is one of the symptoms. Lack of focus is one of the symptoms. Exercising poor judgment is one of the symptoms. Poor social skills is one of the symptoms. They could have problems with their kidneys, I mean, and so much more. So we can see that there's a whole lot of harm. Intellectual disability, we had mentioned learning disabilities, intellectual disabilities, you know. All of this can be caused by the mother consuming alcohol while she's pregnant. So please, to avoid your child suffering from this plethora of symptoms, disabilities that we've mentioned, do not consume alcohol whilst you're pregnant. Your child could have, have deformed lips, limbs and fingers. Your child could be aggressive, could suffer from depression and anxiety. Okay, so we should not consume alcohol whilst we are pregnant. Like we've said again and again, for the sake of your unborn baby. Now, according to the American Society of Pedi Pediatrics, it is said that the first three months, the fetus is most susceptible to um, harm during the first three months, you know, of uh, uh, pregnancy. So that's the, 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 the time you should avoid alcohol the most. But any time during pregnancy that you consume alcohol, it also poses a risk to uh, the baby. Now let's discuss the cause of fetal alcohol syndrome. Now when you consume alcohol, alcohol is able to cross the, get across through the placenta and get to the fetus, developing fetus. Now when it gets to the fetus, it gets to the fetus in a more concentrated form. And then it's able to hinder sufficient nutrient and uh, oxygen from getting to the vital organs of the fetus, thereby causing damage to the vital organs. And causes all of the deformities associated with fetal alcohol syndrome. So you see, it is very important for us to avoid alcohol during pregnancy. According to the American Society of Pediatrics, the first three months, in the first three months of pregnancy, the fetus is most susceptible to uh, damage by alcohol, if the mother consumes alcohol. But any time during the pregnancy, the fetus is at risk if the mother consumes alcohol. So we should avoid consuming alcohol whilst pregnant and as a matter of fact avoid every psychoactive drug and every drug that is not prescribed so during pregnancy you must make sure that any drug you take is prescribed by your doctor and you stick to the required dosage otherwise you could cause harm to your baby that being said how can some of these um, uh, symptoms be managed okay now like for the speech defects you could get a speech therapist to work on your baby and then if the baby grows up in a very stable and loving environment, it's going to help alleviate some of the symptoms that we mentioned, like aggression and the poor social skills and all of that. So making sure your baby grows in a stable environment will help. Now there are also some alternative uh, medicine that we can use, like acupuncture, like exercise, like yoga. This could also be helpful to your baby. But remember, there is no cure for fetal alcohol syndrome, there's only prevention, which is to avoid the intake of alcohol whilst you're pregnant. I hope this was simple enough. I'd like to know what you think. So please leave me a comment. Please like this video. And please, if this is your first time on this channel, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the Psychologist NG TV. It's been an interesting time with you here today. And uh, have yourself a lovely day. And please, if you're pregnant, avoid alcohol. 
if your wife is pregnant and sure she avoids alcohol and in a later video we're going to discuss about how alcohol affects the sperm actually when the man consumes alcohol it affects the quality of the sperm cell and can also affect the kind of child that you produce so when you're a man as well if you're going to have a child avoid excessive intake of alcohol or avoid alcohol completely because the effects of alcohol on our system they are mostly negative and there are very many of them we'll discuss that in a later video have yourself a lovely time out there god bless you